Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough, and we are continuing the Cyclopean Foundation's fan made campaign by the Beard. And we are up to scenario 6, and it is Blood from Stones. Uh, last time uh, we got 3 experience from our game. It didn't go that well, but at least we got some experience, so let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what kind of upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and the only upgrade I did to the deck was to remove one of the research nodes. Uh, I haven't played this that much in this deck. I think this isn't that good in Daryl at least, uh, so I decided to get rid of the second copy. I think uh, we want to get the um, Hawkeye folding cameras into play instead of this all the time, so I dropped that. And I used all of the three experience to get one uh, level three Alter Fate into the deck. Uh, in the last scenario we got pretty much um, screwed by one of the um, Treacheries that came into play that discarded most of the useless, useful cards we could have used in that scenario. So uh, now we at least have one copy of this. So if that comes up, we can just get rid of it quite easily. So that is the only upgrade into the deck. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and we are set up here. And uh, first off, it is a big map, so um, I tried to get all of it on on screen, so uh, some of the tops are cut off by the framing, but it is what it is. So uh, we are here, and uh, 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 in Singapore, and uh, let's read the story text uh, from the scenario. So, Scenario 6 Blood from Stones Check campaign log. If the investigators arrive on schedule, read Intro 1, otherwise read Intro 2. So we go to Intro 2. Exhausted from your harrowing encounters with the cult, you breathe a sigh, slight sigh of relief as your ship finally comes within distant view of Singapore. With the long days and nights you've endured, Preparing and worrying, you hope that the cult's plans aren't so far along as to be unstoppable. The steady rain that has followed you your journey continues to help you as you disembark at the city's harbor. You wonder where to begin looking for the cult and the answer comes quicker than you may have liked. The sky above you shimmers. The Tessalent this into strange geometrical patterns. The distortions bend, forming a dome around the city as they merge recursively. You reel at the sudden spectacle, but nobody else around you seems to even notice the fracturated sky. You can only assume that the phenomenon is tailor-made to affect you alone, but if that's the case, then you are left with some grim conclusions. As the dome surrounds the city, you must also assume that it is meant to trap you in Singapore. This uh, would also mean that the cult's ultimate goal is not in Singapore itself, but is somewhere nearby, and the city was simply an easiest rallying point. If all of this is true, then you must find a way to break this abstract dome and le learn just where the cult's plans will cul culminate continue to set up. So uh, we have already done the setup. So um, as you can see we start in the Singapore Harbor. We have a big map to explore and then we have these story cards which have all of our tablet tokens from our back sealed on them. So uh, if you're not familiar with the seal mechanic you take uh, tokens from the chaos pack and seal them on cards. So get those removed. Uh, for example, here is one. So after you resolve a non-Euclidean effect, move one of your clues to this card.
copy of geometric seal. Group limit once per effect. Pause. If there are three copies per investigator clues on uh, this copy of geometric seal, release its token sealed on this copy of geometric seal and move it to the victor display. So, uh, what that means is uh, we need to get those tablets off of those to proceed. So, let's see. So, geometric barrier. The angular dome shimmers and flickers with power, distorting even the vector vectors of light flowing through it. Whenever a barrier intersects with the terrain, buildings bend and shift impossibly, though somehow the structures remain standing. And we have a 6 doom threshold, and because we were delayed, uh, we got 3 um, doom on the agenda already. Then, because we took the safe route, which uh, didn't fare well for us, we have to add one more doom to it. So we already have 4 of 6 there. So we are re really behind the cult at this point. Under the dome. The longer this dome delays you, the more time your enemies have to prepare their ultimate goal. Your clear, clear goal is to destroy the geometric barrier, but how? Objective is there is one uh, tablet token in the chaos bag you must immediately advance. So we need to get those tablet tokens in the uh, bag for us to be able to advance. So that is basically it. Uh, we have to go exploring, get clues and start triggering these. So uh, the one was to, uh, when we trigger a non-Euclidean effect, this is after an Elder Sign Skull uh, Cultist Tablet or Elder Thing token is revealed during a skill test at your location, move one of your clues to this copy of Geometric Seal. Uh, group limit once per test, and if there are three clues here, we get to uh, release the sealed token. And the last one is, after a hidden treachery at your location is discarded or removed from play, including discarding it after resolving its effects, move one of your clues to this copy of Geometric Seal, and again, we need three clues here to uh, release the token. And... Uh, there uh, are five copies of these uh, cards in, in the set, so you pick three at random, so those were the random ones we got. But that is basically everything, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin. Now, one thing I forgot to say is uh, what are the tablet or, or the different tokens, so skull is minus x. x is equal to 1 for every 5 notice in your campaign log. So we have 8, so it is a minus 1 in this scenario. Uh, cultist is a minus 2. If you are performing a test against a conspirator enemy, you must either take 1 damage or this token becomes minus 4 instead. And tablets are minus two. If you are performing a test on a paradox card, you must either take one horror or this token becomes minus four instead. And we don't have any elder thing tokens. We can ignore that. So let's draw our opening hand and see what we get. Hopefully we get a good start in this scenario. Well, we got the, the ally, Dr. William T. Nelson, Shedalite, Idol of Xanatos, Burning the Midnight Oil, and again we draw the ruined film at the start. We get the compass of the Grand Lord, so compass does uh, the following. It is a two-cost asset item tool. When compass of the Grand Lord enters play, choose one hand. Arcane accessory, you gain one additional slot of the chosen type. When you play an asset that fills a slot of the chosen type, exhaust compass of the Grand Lord, you get plus one to each of your skill test until the end of the round. I think we don't need that at the start. We don't need the necklace at the start. Uh, we don't need the burn, burning the midnight oil at the start. We even probably don't need the shed a light at the start. So we draw four cards. We get deduction, inquiry in mind, leather coat and gumption. Okay, so no Hawkeye folding camera at the start, which is a shame. We really wanted to get one early on. But it is what it is, so hopefully we can uh, grab one 
sooner than later. So, just shuffling the deck quickly and we are ready to begin. So, I think that's enough shuffling. So, first thing first, we will play Dr. William T. Nelson. And I will just investigate immediately. I'm not spending anything to this chest, so 5 versus 2. And there is an action here, test agility for if you succeed, move a clue controlled by an investigator at your location to a story card. If you succeed by two or more, you may instead add one clue to a story card from the token bank. So we uh, can um, get tokens onto those cards other ways also. But uh, first we need clues, so the test is a minus one, so we'll get this clue. Last action, let's go explore the city. Uh, I'm actually thinking of going to Thian Hok Keng. Three throughout one clue, fast trigger ability during a skill test. Uh, you are performing at the Thian Hok Keng, choose and discard a card from hand, reveal tokens from the token bag until you reveal uh, uh, one of these tokens. Cancel each of the other tokens uh, revealed. So that is one way to get uh, stuff there on the this one. Okay, so that is my turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw track shoes. That's a good pull. And we get a source. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one doom. So we are at five of six. Encounter card is a pulsing barrier. Revelation. Uh, reveal X random tokens from the Chaos Bag, where X is half of the amount of notice in your campaign log, so it is 4. Uh, for each these of these tokens uh, you reveal, take 1 damage or 1 horror. And uh, I'm actually not keen on doing that, so I am dropping my clue, drawing another one. Okay, well, who shuffled this deck? We'll discard one and we have to resolve the other. So, uh, Dr. William T. Mason didn't help us there. Oh, yeah, and uh, we need to exhaust the doctor. Okay, so uh, we are revealing four tokens. And this is not a skill test, so... Let's see, we get one. So, I am taking... One horror. Okay. Well, first action. I will did, uh, use deduction here to get both of these clues. We are investigating six versus three. It is a minus one, and we grab two clues. Then, we could have actually done this a bit different. Well, we didn't have any clues, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just move up here. So, Freshman's Hall. Three shroud, two clues. Non-Euclidean. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Pack. If you reveal a... Uh, one of these tokens, take one damage or one horror. If you control compass for the Grand Lodge, parlay add uh, one token spare investigator from the token back to a story card in play, distribute it however you wish. So that compass would have been a good one here. But it is what it is, so I think I'm last action playing the track shoes down. So we have a better agility to evade enemies if we run into them. So that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw <laughs> Compass of the Grand Lodge. Isn't that a nice nice thing to have now? Okay, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
we are the doom, so the agenda advances. Architectured obstacles. Your efforts to break the barrier have not gone unnoticed. One of the re renegade architects emerges from the shadows, shifting the spell to counter your more directly spawn the set aside barrier architect at the closest location to the lead investigator without an investigator. If there are two or three names listed under cultists alive, choose a listed name at random, search the collection for the traitor enemy with that name and spawn it to the furthest location from all investigators. Otherwise, yeah, so we have to search for that. I'll do that uh, after the ne next. Uh, turn break. Diminishing fractals. As the cult geomancers focus their powers, uh, ge geometers focus their powers, a sudden sound of scraping glass rips through the air. Sections of the barrier begin to fall inwards on themselves, slipping from existence entirely and steadily shrinking the size of the door. Cornered are, as you are, you cannot afford to be caged even further. And the doom threshold is 5. So we spawn the set aside barrier architects, and let's see. So this is a three fight, uh, three health, and three evade humanoid cultist sorcerer elite aloof. Force after you activate an triggered ability on a copy of geometric seal, barrier architect attacks you regardless of location. When you defeat the barrier architect, gain one boost from uh, per investigator from the token bank. So. I think I'll place it over here. And uh, we need to deal with that guy somehow. We don't have any tools for that at the moment, but that that is a problem for another time. So I think first action is to play Compass of the Grand Lodge. So now we can use this ability here. And we can do this only once per game, but I'll do it now. So, it is a fast trigger ability. So, we just place one clue, and I think the hardest one for us to do is this one. So, I'll place it there because hidden treasures we haven't seen any yet. Of course, now that I say it, we are going to see. And when I play this, I will say I have an extra hand slot, so I can play three hand assets once I find some. Okay, then... How do we want to do this? I think I'm just investigating here. I'm invest... Oh yeah, uh, we'll place one clue on that guy, or not a clue, but the evidence, okay, so we are investigating uh, 5 versus 3, it is a minus 1, we'll grab another clue, and uh, last action, we will investigate 5 versus 3, it is a 0, so we'll gr uh, grab this clue also, so no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw Occult Invocation, great, now we can go kill that guy, and we get a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, encounter card for this round is... Abyssal Visions, Revelation, put Abyssal Visions in play in your threat area. Pause, when you would reveal Chaos Tokens for uh, a test, you are performing reveal an additional token, and cancel the token with the highest modifier. The auto fail token is considered to be the lowest that, than each other token, limit once per test. Pause at the end of the round, discard Abyssal Visions. So it gets one, one of these. Okay. Well, um, first action will move here. This guy is aloof, so we need to engage it. Last action, we are playing uh, the Occult Invocation. And uh, I'll discard two cards, 
consumption and lead, uh, leather coats so that I deal plus two damage to kill it off uh, right away. Mm, actually, I'm doing it like this because I want to play the gumption for this test. So I am testing five versus one. So these are discarded, and I'm committing this. So we need to reveal an extra token. And it is the auto fail, of course. How oh, not surprising at all. Okay, this goes away at the end of the round. It. Oh yeah, and uh, we had to make this test. Actually, we will back up because. This affect that one. It is not a test, so it doesn't affect it. Okay, so we triggered the non Euclidean thing here. Plus one, uh, we didn't take any damage. Okay, and enemy face, this guy is engaged with us, so I'll just move him over here. So he Hits us for one damage and one horror. Not not going well, uh, but uh, nothing we can really do about it. So we'll go to upkeep. We get persuasion, doesn't help us, and we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we'll add a doom. Zero five. Count card is uh, Mad Architect. I am dropping one of my tools and drawing another one, and we'll take the Passiphobia. We don't want any more enemies. So put Passiphobia in the plane your threat area force. After you resolve an on Euclidean effect, resolve that effect as an additional time. So this could actually help us uh, at some point. But yeah. Oh yeah, and we resolved that non-Euclidean, so we could put one here. Okay, first action. Uh, let's try to evade this enemy. It is a skull. And it is a minus one. So... Just double checking. Yeah, it is a minus one, so we succeed. We get to put this up here. Oh yeah, this guy is hitting us every time we do these things, but I have to try to advance somehow here. I, I missed one, yeah. Because we did the non-Euclidean test last uh, turn. So, uh, yeah, we evaded. This guy is evaded. Okay, so this is evaded. Ah, that, that guy sucks. Okay. <clears throat> We will uh, investigate here. Five versus three minus one. We'll grab a clue. We'll grab this evidence. When last action, we'll use the evidence to hit this guy. And we are hitting uh, two versus one. It is a plus one, so we deal at least one damage to this guy. Okay. This doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, and we placed one here. And uh, okay, so enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw sharp vision. Can a resource this guy ready? Engages us again. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
we had a doom and counter cards for this round is uh, conflicting structure I'm dropping one of my clues to draw another one so let's see which one we want to take conflicting structure if there is no copy of conflicting structure that's your location that's conflicting structure your location otherwise it gains search at that location gains non nuclear and take one damage and one horror Mm, test agility 3, physics if this per conflicting structure. And uh, this is a peril. Revelation reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. You must either choose one for each weakness and remove each other card from the game or shuffle one each re built card back into your deck. Place one doom the current agenda. This can cause it to advance. I think I'll have to take this one. So this is on this location now. And I'll place one evidence on it. And uh, we will try to evade this guy. Elder sign. Okay, it hits us for one damage and one horror. But we get to move one of our clues here, and we succeed, and we get an evidence, and we get an evidence. Second action, we'll hit this guy, I'll use one to lower the difficulty to one, so two versus one, and uh, yeah, we don't have any anything we can commit to this test, so... 2 versus 1. Minus 1. Uh, we still need to succeed one more time, so I'm using this evidence to try again. So last action hit this guy. 2 versus 1. 0. We defeat this guy, so it is a victory point enemy. So when you defeat Barrier Architect, gain 1 plus per investigator from the token bank. Okay, well, that helped us a lot. So, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw gumption and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is Archaic Evils. I'm just doing the uh, draw it, uh, reveal three cards, remove them from the game and draw its weakness. So we lose Inquiry Mind, Sharp Vision, and winging it. Okay. Mm. I'll try to get rid of this here. We are testing four versus uh, three. Yeah, it is a uh, agility tree test. Over three, elder sign. So we get to move this here. So that is done. We get an evidence onto the camera, and we get rid of this one. And uh, yeah, this is uh, returned to the bag. And this is removed. It is a victory one card, so it goes there. So we advance. First flux. Applying the knowledge gleaned from your initial observations, you work out a basic understanding of how the barrier works. As you solidify your theories, the dome begins to wobble, its shape losing consistency. If the mere knowledge of these Arcane mechanics is enough to counter the barrier, then there may be hope for you yet. Pushing the boundaries. The architect's spell seems to rely on using both the no knowledge of the spatial warping magic and the will to shape it. You must match their wits and will within your, uh, with your own objective. If there are two 
tablet tokens in the chaos bag you must immediately advance okay so seems like to win this scenario we need to get all of these into the bag okay mm. so uh, we might as well start moving so we'll move to the chain of tap and it is a three-star location with one clue. Action so set up five cards of your the encounter deck for a card and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. Limit once per round. Action shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Okay, so that is one way to get those um, hidden treachery cards into our hand. Uh, we'll just investigate. I am investigating five versus. And it is an auto fail, so we fail. Okay, that is that round. Uh, we'll draw a card, old key ring, and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so the agenda unfortunately again advances. Fragmentation. The scraping and receding barrier seems to lock into place, and with a fantastic display, the shapes all reform, combining and splitting, ending in ways that defy the world of you inhabit. The very sight puts a pressure on your mind that you can barely uh, withstand. In play order, each investigator test will power 5. Each investigator that fails removes the top 5 cards of his or her deck from the game where X system amount he or she failed by. If an investigator reveals a tablet or elder, thing, uh, elder sign token during this test, he or she automatically succeeds instead. So, let's see. Uh, we are testing... Uh, we are testing 2 versus 5. We are not worried. So, minus two, so we remove five cards from our deck. One, two, three, four, five. We lose uh, Warped Idol, Shed a Light, Crystal <laughs> times two, and burned, uh, Burning and Midnight also. I haven't been able to play the Crystal at all, but it is what it is. Okay. Collapsing Patterns. The brief uh, reordering ends and the dome continues to close in at even, even a more rapid pace. Can you shatter it before it closes in on you? And the doom threshold is five and that is the last agenda. That is really bad. Okay, well... Um, we need to... Okay, so I'm, I'm investigating. No, I'm playing the... Old key ring down and using it to investigate. So we are investigating five versus one tablet, and it is a minus two, and it is another paradox. So we succeed, we grab this clue, and we get this evidence. And uh, Last action, we will actually try to find. So, so set up five cards, then counter deck for a card and draw it. So, one, two, three, four, five. This is a risky last action, but we need to find a hidden treachery. I should be ready. Let's see. Okay, so mm, let's take the least bad. I'll just grab this one. And uh, okay, we shuffle the encounter deck, but now that we drew a card, I'm dropping one of my clues. And using Dr. William T. Mailson to 
draw another card and pick that one. And hoping we grab something useful or something that is, is a better one. Or if not, we'll just resolve that one. I think this upgraded uh, William T. Melson is a really good good ally. Cheap and good soak and a good ability. Okay, so we'll just uh, discard the Dixver. So uh, we discard the top three, uh, remove the top three cards from game. Okay, so we have to draw the Day of Reckoning. So we lose the Elder Sign token. Luckily, we don't need it anymore because uh, we did the, the one that cares about the tokens pulled. So that is locked onto the agenda, which is the last agenda, so we can't have the Elder Sign token anymore this game. And that was the last action, so no enemies will go to upkeep. Another doctor. And we can resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom and Counter card to this round is... Ward Weaver, Hunter. While Ward Weaver is ready, investigators at Ward Weaver's location cannot move clues to copies of geometric steel. So I'm dropping one of my clues and revealing another card and I'll take this instead and this gets discarded or am I playing this wrong so and discard the other okay because the old uh, level zero, zero version I think uh, shuffles it back into the deck so we'll place one here I'll investigate. I'm using one to lower the. No, I'm saving the evidence. I'm using gumption and the old keyring to investigate. So we are investigating five versus zero. It is a minus one, and I think we already used one earlier. I just forgot to remove this because it's a. You remove it um, after the test, not before. So I use <laughs> many times forget it. Okay, we got the, both of those clues, and um, okay, I'm taking this. We take one damage and one horror. This Doctor William T. Melson is removed, but we get to move one of our clues here. And uh, after you resolve, so we resolve it a second time, so we just move another one. So that helped us, and we take one damage and one horror. That is not nice, but we need to need to start resolving these. <coughs> so the impossible angles of in intersection draw your notice as you inspect the barrier. Time and time again, you have this spatial warping and phenomenon, but is there method, a method to it? Only strict inspection of similar events will tell you for certain. That goes into victory display, this goes into the chaos bag, and we advance. Second shutter. Your understanding of the second principle further weakens the shifting dome. Cracks and splinters begin to cross through the various shapes and patterns, forming lines. Where the barrier takes longer to move. Once your knowledge is complete, you will be free. To know is to be. You must apply the final leap of logic before the cultist can close the barrier in around you. All that remains is to complete your understanding objective. If there are three uh, tablet tokens in the chaos pack, you must immediately advance. Okay, uh, investigate, move, and oh, yeah, let's reveal this one before we do the last action. So, two shroud, one clue. Action test willpower four. If you succeed, move a clue controlled by an investigator at your location to a story card. If you succeed by two or more, you may instead add one clue to a story card from the token bank. Uh, it's a willpower test, so that is not good for us. Okay. Last action. We are playing another copy of Dr. William T. Mason. 
that is our turn. No more enemies. I'm just changing these like so. No enemies uh, will go to upkeep. So we draw. Yeah, we draw a card. We get white cliff ring, and we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a doom. Encounter card for this round is. You'd better leave. Revelation. Okay, I'm I'm dropping one of. I I don't have a clue. Damn. Okay, we have to resolve this. So I thought you. You'd better leave to the reveal location with the most clues that does not already have a copy of. You'd better leave a tad's force after investigating this card. Any amount of. Clues from the attached location that the investigator must either take one damage or lose one action. If there are no clues on the attached location, discard you. You'd better leave. Stack, uh, spend two resources, parlay discard, you'd better leave. Okay. Um, we get one evidence on it. Uh, okay, do we. Can we. Uh, Afford taking the damage or uh, we have plenty of evidence at the moment, so I think what we'll do is. to just remove it. It is a hard choice now. Maybe we'll just go see what's here. So we'll, we won't do anything there. Okay, so uh, Sultan Mosque. Uh, three throughout two clues. Actually, if there are no clues on Sultan Mosque, move one of uh, clues controlled by investigator Sultan Mosque to any story card in play. This Tribute it however you wish, then place clues on Sultan Mosque from the token bank up to its original clue value. Okay, well that, that helps us a lot. So we will investigate and I am using the keyring and using one of my uh, evidence. So there are two clues here. We are investigating uh, 5 versus 0. It is a plus one, so we overshot that by a ton. And if there are no clues, so last action I'm doing that. I'll move one here. And we will add two clues here. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw letter code and gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we had a doom three of five we are running out of time encounter card for this round is hyperbolic science revelation so that's hyperbolic sigils uh, it's so tiny text um, sigils to the location with the highest shroud value that does not have a hyperbolic sigil attached at that location, gains non-Euclidean, reveal the top card of your deck if it's a weakness droid, otherwise discarded. Action test, willpower 0, reveal X test token where X is the amount of you succeeded by. If you reveal a less curse token, reveal another token. If you reveal one or more um, tablet or elder sign tokens, discard this, but I'll just shove it there. It's the um, it's the most clues or highest shroud highest shroud value, so I'll just place it there. Okay, well uh, we are investigating. I'm using one of my evidence here and uh, no, um, yeah I'll play sharp vision here. So we are investigating 5, 6, 7, 8 Minus one. Minus two. 
we grab two clues and we'll do an action and put one clue here from the token bank so this location gets two more clues but we advance so this goes here and uh, even with the bizarre patterns and intersections of the barrier, there is more under the surface at work. Many of the cultists act subtly as they oppose you, and this, came, uh, this same careful scheming uh, must apply to the dome. You must learn their methods to ch challenge the madness. So this goes into the victory display, and we advance. Final fracture. Your final breakthrough. Pro uh, pro Proves to be a literal one. As you discover of discovery of the dome's inner workings, unravel it completely. The geometric shapes fold into each other, winking out of existence or dissolving into the stonework of Singapore's landmarks and leaving you free to leave the city as you will. Resolution 2. Okay, well, that, that, uh, that location uh, really saved our bacon there. Okay, resolution 2. With the shattering of the barrier, the agents of the cult blend back into the crowds of Singapore, leaving you confused but relieved. The city took no notice of the attack against you, but surely there must be some evidence left behind. You return to Singapore's Masonic Lodge to investigate any connections to the traitors, only to discover that many of their members disappeared around the same time that your pursuers did. You give a brief explanation to the Lodge Grandmaster of the events at the Philadelphia branch, sparing the more of otherworldly details, and insist on conducting your own search inside. In one of the building's many basement rooms, you finally find what James Wycliffe first hired you to find, the missing artifacts. Piles of twisted stone blocks and impossibly carved figurines lie scattered about, along with detailed notes on their uh, construction. Included with the notes are architectural plans of a sort for monolithic stone pillars, constructed and positioned to bend space in the area between them. Your suspicions about the spatial warping stone are confirmed at last. This plan will allow, allow them to move a relay from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean up to the surface and awaken their master Cthulhu. Unfortunately, the cultists were careful about not writing down any hints as to where their project will culminate. You pore over the blueprints to find something, anything that could help you stop their plans. In the footnotes of one of the technical drawings, you discover a small diagram depicting a failsafe for experimenting with the non-Euclidean stone. This ward acts as an anchor to keep the architect safe while they're they twist reality. This spell might be useful to in countering the reality twisting magic the cultists have used against you. In your camp log, record the investigators found the, the missing artifacts. Mark one notice in your camp log. Any one investigator may choose to add immu immutable sigil to his or her deck. This card does not count to what the investigator deck size. Continue to resolution 3. The ultimate destination of the cult's project still troubles you. The site is still unknown to you, but it, is, it must be both large enough to raise the sunken island of Rillet, but somewhere that the public or authorities wouldn't see. Moreover, it must also be somewhere that the cult could easily move people and supplies to. You hope that the cult hasn't found a way to twist space to fully hide the project. For lack of a better lead, you return to Singapore Harbour to see if anyone has seen the cults departing at all at once. You step up to the notice board, uh, ready to score the list of ships for details, when an announcement catches your eye. All ship travel through the Sunder Strait is suspended for the foreseeable future due to a major volcanic activity in the area. The Krakatoa Volcano which famously erupted and sank over 40 years ago, is active once again with a new volcanic island expected to form from the remaining caldera. The, piece be the pieces begin to connect, 
an easily accessible location that the public is currently prohibited from visiting and with the volcanic activity providing as much fresh stone as the architects need with its close proximity to Singapore, the Krakatoa Caldera is the perfect candidate, but you must confirm your suspicions. You arrange a meeting with the harbor master and after a small bribe, he informs you that a group of American entrepreneurs recently departed to mine pumice from the Caledra. Uh, the arrangements were made months ago in spite of the expected volcanic activity and the harbor master shows you the proof of permission. Signed by one of the Masonic traders. This breakthrough confirms your suspicions and gives you gives your destination. You must get to the Krakatoa Basin to bring an end to this plot. If there is a traitor enemy in the victory display, remove that uh, enemy's name from the cultist alive. Record that the uh, name under cultist killed and mark two notice in your campaign log. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot to spawn uh, that guy in play. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Uh, we gained one, two, three, four, five experience. Okay. If any investigator earned three or more experience during this scenario, mark one notice in your camp log. So now we have ten. If an investigator earned six or more, we didn't. So we will proceed to the scenario seven. Pyrolastic flow. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I messed up a bit. I forgot to spawn the uh, traitor cultist, but we could have spawned it uh, over here and it wouldn't have affected our game because we didn't visit that location. But yeah, that was a mistake, but I'm not redoing this scenario over that. But uh, it is what it is. Nothing we can do now. But yeah, uh, we got five experience. So uh, that was uh, blood from stones. I think that went pretty well considering the last scenario that we failed quite miserably. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.